finals at the 100 meters. An interest here for England, Scotland, and Wales. Paula Dunn going for England, the silver medalist um, four years ago. And that's Merlin Notty, by the way, of Jamaica, the world number one in 89. Won the gold in the Commonwealth Games 200 and the silver in the 100 at the 82 Brisbane Games, uh, but didn't compete in Edinburgh because of the Jamaican boycott. Uh, the other English girl is Simone Jacobs, who runs in lane five. Paula Dunn is in lane two. For Wales, Sally Ann Short goes in lane six. And for Scotland, Janet Nielsen runs in lane one. The full line up there. And we'll have a look at them in close up. As uh, we look from one to nine, courtesy of our New Zealand hosts in broadcasting. They're well pleased to see a couple of uh, New Zealanders in this semi-final. It's Paula Dunn in lane number two. 25 now. Stratford AC. Unbeaten by a British woman athlete since 1985. Well, the two Canadians in the background, that's uh, Francie Garrow in the foreground. In the background, uh, Esme Lawrence. They're drawn in lanes seven and eight. Merlin Notti, 29. The silver in the World Championship in 83. At 200 metres, she was fourth then in the 100. But last season enjoyed her best 12 months ever. Very composed athlete. Scotland in one, England in two, Jamaica Ladies in three, and, and they can go along the line now. As we look at uh, Janice Nielsen, coached by the great professional sprinter in Scotland, Janice George Nielsen. McNeil, who I've no doubt will be watching. <laughs> Greetings to him. Lane two, Lane two Paula Dunn, Stratford AC, 11-2-4, her best England, time. Paula Dunn. Lane three, Merlin Otty, 11 times under 11 seconds. Currently the best sprinter in the world. Jamaica's Merlin Otty. In lane number four, the first of the two New Zealanders, Michelle Seymour. 24 from Wellington, 11.69, her best time. Lane Simone Jacobs in lane five, Olympic wearing 3 2 1. 23, Reading AC, Simone coached Jacobs. by Richard Simmons. <laughs> Sally Ann Short of Wales Perfect. broke the Welsh record yesterday with 11.47. Sally Ann Short. Esme Lawrence of Canada goes in lane, lane number seven, seven the first of the two Canadians. Canadians. She was sixth in the Edinburgh Top Commonwealth Canada Games, Canada 200 Canada. metres. Lawrence. Born in Jamaica. Uh, Francie Garrow, the other Canadian, goes in lane number eight. Her former coach was Charlie Francis, but left him after the Ben Johnson affair. And, and lane nine. here is the camera in lane nine. Helen Pirovano won the New Zealand hurdles trial. Helen Pirovano. The qualifying, the first four, the first four going to the final plus the fastest loser. The final to be run later today. On your mark. Just the occasional supporter heard above the uh, whisper of the crowd as they normally do when it comes to an important sprint race they settle down in silence the first hey. semi-final of the 100 meters and, uh, and that was Esme Lawrence I think in lane number seven she looked a bit uncertain slowly they walk back Yes, Esme Lawrence in lane number seven. Let's see if the officials confirm that. And a reminder of the rule, a second false start when you leave the competition. Lane 
Lane seven, one break. Heard the confirmation in the background. A warning for Esme Lawrence. Scotland lane one, England lane two, Jamaica three, New Zealand four, England five, Wales six, Canada seven and eight, New Zealand nine. of the qualifying for the final the first four go through plus the fastest loser from the two semi-finals good smooth break there and uh, Simone Jacobs got a very good start and also going well is Paula Dunn as Simone Jacobs and here comes it Merlin Otty now streaking through and Sally Ann Short going well Otty wins in second place uh, was Sally Ann Short she came through really well. And uh, right up there to the two English girls, Simone Jacobs and Paula Dunn. The time a legal one, following wind of 1.5 metres. Merlin Otty, a clear winner, and uh, she was unpressed. But that was an impressive run by Sally Ann Short. She broke the Welsh record yesterday, and I would suspect she may well have broken it again today. She got away well, but Simone Jacobs got the best start. And as you can see, Merlin Notty was not too well away alongside Paula Dunn. But suddenly, she goes into overdrive and Paula Dunn is left floundering. Now watch Sally Ann Short in the old red of Wales. What an afternoon for Wales with Colin Jackson having just won. This is an outstanding improvement. So Otty wins in second place, Sally Ann Short. Third is Simone Jacobs. And Paula Dunn is beaten by British athletes for the first time since 1975. Uh, but three United Kingdom athletes go into the final later this afternoon. Morning your time, obviously. That was a brilliant start by Simone Jacob, and that uh, kept her well in the uh, race all the way. But what a great improvement by Sally Ann Shaw. She really is. That Welsh record yesterday, where well, I've gone again. 11.47 she did yesterday. Uh, Janice Nielsen, I think, was possibly about six. Well, there are a few better sprinters around, and uh, if it hadn't been for the soul, if it hadn't been for Flo Jo and her incredible run against the clock, the world would be watching this girl as the, the greatest sprinter in the world. She certainly is for the past season. Paula Dunn, uh, well, qualifying safely in fourth, but Malcolm Arnold's done a terrific job on these sprinters and hurdlers in Wales, and uh, that will be a tremendous lift for Welsh sprinting and for Welsh women's athletics to see Sally Ann Short twice in the space of a week, break the Welsh record. She's obviously peaked magnificently. And the following win was only 1.57 metres, so whatever time she gets will be uh, will be uh, allowable. She certainly looked close enough, actually, to, to that 11.47 uh, yesterday. And she'll also be well pleased to have beaten Simone Jacobs and Paula Dunn. We've still got no... Uh, Sally Ann Short, she's just outside of time yesterday, is she? No, it equals the Welsh record she set yesterday at 11.47. Just got the flash time there. Simone Jacobs in third place, 11.54. We haven't got Paula Dunn's time yet, but she obviously the fourth certain qualifier. <laughs> 